Alright, welcome back to Breath Edge with John J. Appleseed and what do you know, for some reason the poster is no longer pixelated. Yeah, I don't know what's going on there. I did read something about a memory hole um, in the game which could cause issues so um, we'll have to see. Right, so I made the beef explosives. So we're going to go do that now. Uh, just, you know, exploring around a little bit, gathering some materials in the area, moving some other materials around. Um, let's have a look here. I can actually see what's going on here now as well. Energy, oxygen, breach chance, 20%. So that's the integrity of the station. Okay. Interesting. Don't know what's the deal with the sports bag. I picked that up somewhere. Put store the construction kit. Doing. We've got three handy scrappers, we've got the repair tool, the magnetic master key, drill, and a scanner. Okay. No, I think we're good. Let's take one of those. we need it. Our trusty steed. And I think the bio module is over there. Top up over here. here that we needed was there. Ah, uh, nutrient packs. Oh, rubber. The batteries though. those cannons. Something I'm wondering is, is that mod we have to get in there, right? This is all blocked off. Okay. So that's why we have to go in the other way.
Okay. That detonated quickly. Blown up mechanism. Now what? Explosives. Then I need to blow the other side. Ah. Well then. Maybe I'm just being stupid here and not reading the objectives or whatever it is I'm supposed to do. But they don't really give you a description, do they? Space greenhouse. It's used on planets unsuitable for agriculture. It's useless for the liner and takes up a lot of space unless it's used for scientific purposes. Oh, hi. What do you have here? That dude's dead. Cans of beef. We can make some more explosives. Rich cocktail made from natural ingredient. You can drink it in an emergency, but it's better not to do so. Diarrhea is dangerous thing in space. <laughs> ah, hell, why not? Let's take it. Unfortunately, it's impossible to get the pieces of fur out of here. Therefore, on behalf of the Breath Edge Funeral Agency, I don't recommend eating this. Yeah, we all know what's in there, don't we? Okay, let's get out of back and get another set of explosives built. Beef 
pellets. There's one there, okay. Must have overlooked that. rename it. package. ones with me just in case. I never thought to look on top. It's strange that this section is protected with weapons, seeing that the dairy products don't cost much. <laughs> Playing a dangerous game here. Two more bombs. I 
again a little bit more um, clearer instructions would save having to run backwards and forwards like this all the time. Hello. I think I'll take that. That's what repair instructions. You must scan every page to update my library. <laughs> Somehow I think not. I've got to be more careful in looking at my objectives. Especially things like this. So I don't have to run backwards and forwards. Sir, active. Be careful. Sour kind, though. Okay. There we go. This is definitely not a cargo section, despite it looking like one in the mark in the liner's declaration. Somebody wanted to keep these rooms secret. Hmm. What is that? Oh, it's just a light by the looks of things. Pump. Okay. Don't know if I can approach this because don't have a lot of health and I don't want to risk getting shocked. Where the heck am I going now? I suppose as long as there's oxygen it's okay. A laboratory with the most advanced equipment. Individuals don't have access to such technologies. Something tore him apart from the inside. That's nasty. Even trash cans can be luxury ones, but this is not one of them. Uh huh. Trash can. Lots of refined metal lying around. What is this? Fuel. And a first aid kit, fantastic. I think we'll use that straight away. More food. We've got plenty of food at the moment. The color green perfectly calms the nervous system, relieves tension, and normalizes blood pressure. Not Jeez. in all cases, though. Looks like some data blocks. Connect me to one of them and I'll try to find out if there's any cooling gel in the capsules. Interesting. There's no cooling circuit here, which means the gel can only be present in the solution itself that is poured into the capsules. The full composition of the solution is encrypted, but we can pump it out using the control post and analyze it manually. Okay. 
control post cleaning robot interesting some mutated chicken DNA is being examined Class A biological experiments are prohibited on the surface of inhabited planets, on their satellites, as well as within a radius of 500,000 oh, kilometers. Large transport objects. module. The liner does not fall under this prohibition while it's in outer space. A detailed plan of the transport module. Financial report. Liner revenues from tickets sold. Only 10,000. State subsidies. 14,000. Funeral agency revenues, revenues from sales, anonymous donations, <laughs> 11, 960, non anonymous, $20,000. According to these documents, the laboratory must be sponsored somehow, and that probably also involves the revenue for the liner unnamed. Interesting. Very interesting. Space. According to the plan, this is not only the main control post, but also the steering wheel. This section is a space shuttle, but with such damage, it's unlikely to be able to fly. Oh, goodies. The most common way to use a desktop aquarium in space. According to statistics, every second surveyed man longs to go in a normal toilet for the opportunity of seeing the size of his organic product. Oh. My God. It's a floating... It's a turd aquarium. <laughs> oh my goodness. What next? Oh, hello, we've been joined by our friendly neighborhood Bobcat, who's decided now he wants some attention. Say hello to the people, Bobcat. Hmm? Are you shy now? Okay, right. Let's have a look what happens next. Let's use the console. I've downloaded the manual. To clean the specimen capsules, press the blue button. Or the green one. Unfortunately, the manual is black and white. Ooh. What did we just do? Just launched something like the missiles. Something's wrong. I would suggest ignoring what happened. If these specimens end up on some planet and remain intact, then politicians will come up with some story about a super intelligent race that created these creatures to destroy mankind. Press the green button. <laughs> As I thought, the capsules didn't contain all of the solution. Pumping out from the reserve tanks initiated. Interesting. So examine the solution. Ah. There's no cooling gel here, but the solution contains potassium iodide, cystamine, ondansetron, and some non-standard impurities. Theoretically, it can serve as excellent anti-radiation protection. Just put the solution into the insulin cell of the suit, and I'll calculate the dosage so you don't turn into a vegetable or a muted cow. <laughs> Interesting. 
Your protection against radiation has increased. You didn't even have to launch anything into the core, risking the start of an uncontrolled reaction of matter explosion. Although it would have been right to launch this laboratory together with all of its dangerous research. <laughs> Alright. I don't think I really want to hit that robot in case something bad happens. Although, let's do this. Okay, it just disappeared. Dr. Ripley's report. Hmm. Dr. E. R <laughs> e. Ripley can never be changed. E. Ripley, 2413. Well, if you don't get it, I'm not going to tell you. In the report, I could not help but point out to the phenomenal survival ability of Subject 14A. As noted above, the most difficult part was not growing the experimental prototypes, but disposing of them. Subject 14A had similar specimens from the same control group regenerate rapidly, even with cut-off head. Mutations caused by this regeneration often change the initial appearance, Beyond recognition, the cells simply did not know the final form of their carrier and produced incredible forms that could not adapt to independent life. We tried to prevent this uncontrolled cell division physically, chemically and even at the DNA level, but the chicken gene always found a loophole. Research by Dr. Baiko Research by Dr. Baiko conducted together with Dr. Dolmachov's group helped us to reveal some details of these regenerative abilities, however they triggered something. Inspirational note on the success of breeding a new type of synthetic cows resistant to disease, radiation effects, radiation physical effects, ultra low temperatures and other harmful factors that do not allow to grow animals on planets with harsh conditions. This is not just an underground laboratory, but a government scientific complex for growing synthetic animal hybrid species. Such experiments are extremely dangerous due to the inability to control some mutations. On behalf of the Red Hedge Company, I would not recommend crossbreeding chickens with cows. <laughs> okay, so... Where to now? I suppose we go back out. Oh, not there. Um, bum, 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 exit. Oops. Stabilize through the doorways. specimens have chicken genes. Many blueprints specify chickens to be the main catalyst for mutations. You even have an immortal chicken in your backpack, don't you? <laughs> Hmm. 
Okay, so I've learned a couple of things from that. Let's head back to our little space station and take stock quickly. Take a look at objectives. So there's a vehicle, that's an area with oxygen station. Okay, oxygen station, spaceship debris, two markers for get to the Normandy. That's a mounted oxygen station and near a ring shuttle. Pulled out steering wheel. Spacesuit marker, engineering shuttle, space ship debris. So, what now? Now it's just a case of exploring again. A real large module now. Compartments. Trash can. <coughs> Aquarium. Lamp. need to do a whole bunch of exploring now and then I'll have to see if I can pick up um, and record what what happens uh, when when I'm doing that so I'm gonna leave that for the next episode and we'll call this one here this might be a bit of a shorter episode after I'm finished editing it so thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one where we We'll have to roam around the area and see what's going on and see if we can find more ways to lower the radiation or research the electrical engineer spacesuit.